What's up guys, we are back here with another Everything's Regular video. Man, I'm thinking today, I wanna go up to Copart, check out some new bikes, because as you guys see, every bike in the garage is pretty much either done and or given away, man. So I can't wait to see what next is on the list, man. I'm looking at some stuff at Copart right now. Now that I know what we can do to these motors, man, the next one I'm thinking is gonna be like crazier than ever. At least that's the goal, man. So I can't wait. If you guys haven't already, man, please like, comment, and subscribe. You guys seen our 2021 Road Glide back here with the 124, man. That thing can be you. I'm giving that away along with my Ford Raptor for first place. Yes, my 2017 Ford Raptor truck and my 2021 road glide the bike will be on the back of the truck man if you guys haven't entered the giveaway for that all you got to do is head over to everythingsregular.com right now go get you a blue everything's regular hat and you'll be entered in to win my 2021 road glide with the 124 and my 2017 ford raptor that's just first place second place we got our 2017 road glide back here with the candy apple red it'll be on that 23 inch wheel with the wrap around here coming shortly we still waiting on the wheel but what can we do all we can do is wait at this point so in the meantime that thing will be second place and if you don't win first place or second place man we got third place i'm giving away my dad's 2013 road glide with all the bells and whistles man if you guys haven't entered the giveaway man now is the time to enter the big one man head on over to everythingsregular.com right now go get you a blue everything's regular hat and that'll be your entry into the giveaway if you guys want a chance at winning now is the time man because even if you don't like the truck and you win it, hey, you can go sell that thing the same day. So it's just up to you, man. You guys let me know. But in the meantime, let's get this video started, man. <laughs> yeah, I told you. <laughs> right here on the ground. Wow. They just got this thing tipped over. What the heck? That means we can get it for a freaking cheap, cheap price. Yeah, that's nuts. I tell them that's the same shit. Come on, shit on the For sure. That's crazy. They got the whole bike just tipped over out here. But this is what we're looking at. 2018 uh, Road Glide right here. Now, Copart has changed. You're not able to just wander around here like you used to. But it is an all-state bike, so that's pretty fair. Uh, see, that's the thing. It didn't have a kickstand, so I'm sure that's why it's on the ground. No kickstand in there, as y'all see. But, uh... Let's see. Uh, I ain't gonna even really lift it. I just wanna see if it got the keys in this. I don't even know. These are the back. No, nah, no, nah, you good right now. Cause once it's up, it ain't really like, it ain't no way to just hold it up, you know? So I'm just really trying to see if it got the keys. I don't remember if it said it did or not, but these are the speaker uh, lids for it. Oh, here go the kickstand right here. It look like it's broke, but here it go. That's a plus. I don't see no keys or nothing. I don't see no keys. I don't see no keys for it, but I'm sure if it's over here on the ground, this thing is going to go pretty cheap, man, so... We'll see what's up with this one right here. It's hard to really check it out. I ain't gonna even hold you. I might have to. Uh... Four videos at Copart. You up here already? Hey man, welcome to the Harley life. All right, now we can check it out better. Picking that joint up, you see it is leaking oil, but then again, it was on this side for like, who knows how long. 
I'm trying to see where it's coming out from now. Uh, air breather is whooped. So the oil is definitely coming from up here. It's probably like the actual oil filter itself. That's what it's looking like at least. Honestly, not too bad. Now we can check if we see if we got the keys or anything. No keys in there. No keys in there, but I ain't gonna hold you. It would be a pretty decent buy if you can get it cheap enough. Just switch the whole motor out. Just go 131 on it. At least that's what I'm thinking, man. What y'all think about it? Let your boy know in the comments below. We're gonna keep our eye on this 2018 uh, Road Glide. Like I said, it's got the drip drips down there, but it's nothing a new motor can fix. Well, can't fix rather. Gotta get a new crash bar. Doesn't look like the frame is bent, honestly. Look pretty decent. You're missing a screw on the gas tank here. Let's see if it's missing one on the other side. We're good on this side, so I don't know. We'll keep our uh, eyes open for this one and see what it's looking like. We got a bag right here with them. I don't know if it's got speakers or not. No, nah, no speakers, just fake speakers, but definitely would have to get some bags, but you guys see it here first, man. Alrighty, guys, we got a 2021 this is like a street glide, but as you guys see, the whole fairing and everything is off this joint. Gonna need some new bars and everything. But like I said, 2021, the motor and everything, I guess, seems to be intact. All this is just wires from the fairing. But once you get this out the way, it'll be a pretty clean, decent bike. Now, this bike does have some potential. The forks and everything is still intact. It looked like it's just the cups here, so that's not too bad. Um, fender, no big deal there. They actually, yeah, they definitely flipped into the dirt on this one. You can tell by the way all this dirt and dust and stuff is set up. So this one I'm thinking is probably gonna go pretty cheap. But like I said, if you guys want something for a decent price and something with a lot of potential, this 2021 Street Glide will do it. But that's kind of not why we came here. We actually seen this uh, 2021 CVO. Now this thing, believe it or not, is a $40,000 bike brand new. Right now, it looks like freaking <laughs> not even worth like $4,000. I ain't gonna hold you. Whoever had this bike and they crashed it, I hope they uh made it out because that front wheel is, is just totally whooped. Totally whooped. So gonna need a whole new front end on this bike. You get a whole new front end on it. It wouldn't be too much. It wouldn't be too big of a deal then uh like i said you'd have the 117 the motor and everything up here actually looks in really good shape everything from after the forks back actually looks good i ain't gonna even hold you get you some new bars you still got your tv and your radio intact so it'll be just getting the gauges and stuff like that nothing too big of a deal there um actually you're probably gonna need a new radio but i mean once you get that front end you got a forty to fifty thousand dollar bike still here. I'm sure if you plug it up, it will. Nah, it, it probably won't fire up, but I don't know. All in all, pretty fair bike. They took the battery off the. Uh, they took the little pawns off the battery because I'm guessing that's what they did at the uh, crash site, so it didn't spark up nothing. But they do have the Legend. Oh dang, they got Legend suspension on this CVO. So whoever had this CVO, really uh really put some money into it. You guys see the adjustments and stuff there. 117 on the motor. Now I ain't gonna hold you. I would buy this bike literally just for the motor and, and everything else alone. I don't even care about it being a CVO. Put it back together. You'll be uh, pretty much good to go. And it is a farmer's insurance bike. So that's a plus, man. Let me know what y'all think about the 2021 CVO in the comments below. Like I said, it will be a project, but like I said, after you get the front end situated, it wouldn't be hard at all. So the hardest part, I think, would probably be just getting everything off. We got our 2021, actually no, 
this color scheme i'm thinking it is the 20 yeah it is a 2020 street glide special real nice color here it does have the 114 on it now the front end does look kind of bad however you guys seen the forks i've had these are no different than them so you get new forks uh this wheel is definitely cracked through the through the middle so they're gonna have to get a new rim and stuff you know we get new rims and everything of course but new forks new rim after that you should be pretty good i mean new air filter just put a big bore kit on it crash bar floorboards uh pretty much bags and tins and everything but i mean the front end is pretty fair and intact to say the least like the whole fairing and everything that's the main thing of the bike so literally you can get this bike and put it back together pretty easy bags are nothing side covers i got those already it'll be just forks oh and this bike does have the legend suspension as well so another really nice bike up here nice suspension you got reinhardt pipes on it really nice gray like uh grayish bike really cool man let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below i am digging it all righty man we got this 2018 lowrider i wasn't really too fond of it i was really just looking at the pipes they got on this bad boy i don't even know what kind of pipes they are but this thing make this bike look like that much faster that thing is whooped though i ain't gonna hold you we got this 2017 road king right here m8 on this bad boy now it does have this big huge like air breather which tells me it might be something done to this bike let's see if it's a double pipe or one so they got the tab performance exhaust on here headers um the front end isn't too bad you're gonna need a new fender uh, that just looks like the slider so the forks still look intact which is a great deal the bars look really meaty and really clean so that's a that's a plus they already on there you ain't got to worry about bars we come over on this side what is this looks like something got into the motor oh the horn the horn broke off so they definitely took the hit on this side either they got hit by a car or something or i don't know but you're gonna have to uh, get this shifter together because that's totally broken crash bars off the hinges floorboard uh passenger foot rest or whatever spark plug wires no big deal honestly pretty easy fix here get you some new saddlebag uh support brackets and uh you'll be pretty good literally not a big deal though man what do you guys think about this uh 2017 with the uh it's actually got some other stuff i don't know what this is i don't know if that's a grudge box or just a cover or what Oh, let's see them cylinder head, them little cylinders real quick. If they got a logo on them, we good. I oh, know, I thought they had the logo on them. But yeah, oh, they got a dirt bike. Take this dirt bike. We got this 2011 Ultra, Ultra Glide right here. It's actually in pretty fair condition. I ain't gonna hold you. They got a key on their uh, little thing. That's pretty sick. It's got the uh, tour pack and everything on it. Probably pop this thing open, you find something nothing usually it's a bunch of stuff in there but bags and everything bags seem to be intact so that is a plus literally looks like a clean bike from what i'm looking at i ain't gonna hold you i don't see nothing uh that stands out or nothing like that battery's completely shot but other than that pretty fair ride pretty fair ride i might have to uh just look at this one on online real quick but like I said, I don't see nothing that really stands out. You got the Vance and Hines pipe on it. No real damage, which I think. And now that we left Copart and went to check everything out in person, we got a better idea of what we should be spending for a bike um, that we may or may not be interested in. I don't know. We uh, may get the road glide. We may not. If we do get it, it's got to be like super, super little to like, you know, nothing compared to what we've been spending. So. I don't know if we can get it at a great price then i'm all for it but other than that i got something else um, that i got my eyes on that's not out here so um we'll see what happens man just getting back to the house you guys see the potential of what we got at copart man there's so much potential in this garage you guys just look at the bikes well i know i just look at the bikes at copart like i don't even see them wrecked or nothing i only see them done up 
and looking like this, man. So we'll see, man. We scored that bike at Copart. We might even throw a 131 on there. Or if that CVO goes cheap enough, we might be able to grab that. Now that uh, you guys have entered, and if you did enter, you got action. Yeah, um, I know. I know my gaslight is on. Um, if you guys did enter, man, you guys are going to be loading and offloading this bike, man. I'm going to show you guys at least uh, how to load it, man. So when you get here, you guys can already know what the deal is. The bike can already be loaded up on the truck, or we can let you do it. And that'll be some content but you definitely got that rear view camera action i got like a whole like 360 camera and then we got a front camera as well now when you are loading in this truck man you want to get it sits kind of high i guess for a pickup truck but you want to get it at the lowest spot and for me that's where that is you pop that bad boy open now these are the exhaust that they gave us back however i don't even think these are the the same exhaust that they took off ours because ours was a whole a whole lot cleaner man so i don't know but um probably won't even use those man i'm gonna set y'all up real quick Now, you guys see how we got that? That's probably uh, good if you just pushing it up. But if you're riding it up like I usually do, man, you're gonna have to come over here and uh, get these straps, or at least a strap. So this thing can be that much more secure. And I'll show you guys how to strap it up real quick. So the people who enter, man, you're gonna wanna know this. You hook this half, to one end and then this tab to the other end and just tidy down. All right, so if we go under the truck, you guys can see there's a little uh, latch down there where you uh, connect like the tow hitch and stuff. Connect it there to here now. I did do it uh, here before it's just not the best. This is the first one is always gonna be the best one because if that thing slips, it's not gonna have nowhere to really slip to. If it was up here, it's gonna slide all the way up, man. So ask me how I know. Yeah, you don't wanna do it, man. So make sure it's locked up and tied down first. And you should be good to go. Let's get these exhausts out real quick. Now, let's get the bike position. So now there's two ways of doing this, man. Usually in the morning when this thing is like too loud, too loud, man, I have to run this thing up. So you can either freaking start from the back of the garage, try to get as much speed while pushing the Harley up this thing. And once you get up here, you just can't stop pushing until you run into the bed. Now that's one way of doing it. If you like muscle man and he man and just scared to ride it mainly, that's what you can do. I'm telling you, I did it that way a few times, man. I almost knocked my tooth out trying to hold this bike up here. Or you can do it like so. Before we do get this thing on there, you kind of want to be centered in the middle. At least have that tire going right up the middle. You should be good there. Then once you do start, man, you can go on the gas up until I really want to say, once you get up here, actual, like actual on the rail, once you hit the gas here, you're liable to uh, kick this out. So just be aware of how much gas you're giving it and all that because you give it a little bit too much gas it's going to shoot this thing all the way out that's kind of why we got this to protect that and to prevent that but sometimes you know it just does its own thing but once you do get on the gas i would try to just get enough uh momentum just to keep going up there so you don't get stopped on the ramp if you get stopped on the ramp man just back it back down and start over but we'll show you guys um how it goes or at least how i do it
just like that with the right amount of momentum. You don't even really got to use the gas right here because you're going to be running in. Just don't, just don't full throttle it, man. You're not even going to hit the fender or nothing because the tire is so big. You don't even hit the fender or nothing. So you can just make sure your tire taps here and uh, you're good to go. But before you get it up here, I would position it more so to the left because once it leans to the right, of course, you just have that much less space on that side. But um, that's pretty much it. I mean, if like I said, if you want to run it up, you can run it up. If you're not comfortable riding it up. But all in all, the same thing, just running it up is a lot more energy, of course. Now, when we pull it down, literally simple as ever. Now, before you come, it might be already loaded up. So um, this will probably be the step you'll be on. You can literally just ride the brake if you want. Put it, make sure it's in neutral up here on top, but still hold the brake, so. The bars are straight and your kickstand is up. Because if your kickstand is down, you'll, your bike will get caught up here and it'll be a whole nother story. So kickstand up, bike is in neutral fingers are on the front brake once you get your front wheel to like the edge of this uh ramp right here the metal ramp you really don't want to use your front brake no more by that time you should be on the ground with the back wheel so use front brake front brake front brake then right about here you just let it up so all in all loading and unloading this thing will be pretty simple for you guys, man. If you guys want a shot at winning this 2021 Road Glide with the 124 kit along with my Ford Raptor. Yes, I'm giving them both way. The bike will be on the back of the truck. So this will help you out if you enter, man, because you just might win the Ford with the 2021 on the back. So if you guys haven't entered, head on over to everythingsregular.com right now. Copy your blue Everything's Regular hat, and that'll be your entry into the giveaway. The bike and the truck together is first place. We got our 2017 Road Glide back there. That's second place. And then we have my dad's Road Glide. That's third place, man. So head on over to everythingsregular.com right now. You can be entered in to win, man. So alrighty, guys. It's going to be a wrap for today's video, man. If you guys haven't already, man, please like, comment, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in today. Man, we did get a chance to go up to Copart and check out some bikes at the auction, so I can't wait for the auction to actually come up and get it going hey mama, Hi, mama. how you doing, doing? i'm not all right oh. huh cold. then go in the house if you cold don't know if i'm gonna make a move on them but we will see man if you guys haven't though please like comment and subscribe i did show you guys how to load up our 2021 road glide so you guys shouldn't have no problems loading it up and offloading it off your new ford raptor truck man i can't wait but i'm about to hop on this 2021 road glide and go for a ride knock these last couple hundred miles out man so if you guys want to stick around for some of the ride man i appreciate you if not i appreciate you tuning in this long man so without further ado if you guys haven't already man please like comment and subscribe head on over to everythingsregular.com to answer the new giveaway the big one man in the meantime i will catch you guys on the next one dog peace and now for those of you who stuck around for the riding content let's get it man